Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Night two of our Deeper Life service. Amen. Are you excited about the journey this week? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. A deeper life in Christ tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. It means... My God, you are seeking out, my God, that which God requires from you. Praise the name of the Lord, and you are doing some introspection. Amen. We are in the season of Rosh Hashanah, praise the name of the Lord, the Feast of Trumpets tonight, and we know beyond a shadow of a doubt, praise the name of the Lord, that God is closer than he has ever been before. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight, we are in the book of Matthew chapter 25. If you don't have a Bible, you can raise your hands and the ushers will loan you one. Praise the name of the Lord. The purpose of deeper life, praise the name of the Lord, is for you to feast on the word of God tonight. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. I hope that you brought your appetites, your spiritual appetites, that is. Praise the name of the Lord. Because my God, God is in the house. The Holy Spirit is in the house. Praise the name of the Lord. And he's here, my God, to feed you. Praise the name of the Lord. As much as you would eat tonight. Amen. Holy Ghost, tonight in the name of Jesus, uh, we decree and declare tonight, praise the name of the Lord, that as the word of God goes forth tonight, that revelation, understanding, insight and clarity in your words, mighty Father, will be given to your people tonight, Father, so that they can continue to grow, so that they can continue to mature, mighty Father, Lord, to bring honor and glory unto your matchless name tonight. Night. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. So my God, tonight believers, praise be to the Almighty God. We are able, we have been granted mercy tonight, my God, to be able, my God, to be in the land of the living, my God, to be able to recognize or to rehearse another year of Feast of Trumpets. Amen. Amen. Come on, give him some praise. Hallelujah. So it is a time, my God, where the books of heaven are open tonight. And that the books that we are speaking about is the book of remembrance tonight and the book of life tonight. My God, you have to pay attention tonight that you don't want your name to be written in the book of remembrance tonight. Amen. My God, your accomplishment, my God, your focus tonight, it is to ensure that your name is written in the Lamb book of life tonight. Amen. So my God, the books of heaven, they are open presently, praise the name of the Lord, because of the time and because of the season that we are presently in. Amen. An assessment is being done concerning you and concerning I tonight. Assessment, my God, of our progress tonight and our walk in the Lord tonight. Amen. You see, it is not enough tonight, my God, for you to know that Jesus saves tonight. My God, I can remember as a child growing up, my God, and I reach a big woman, praise the name of the Lord. I was not baptized as yet, praise the name of the Lord, but I can remember, my God, attending church as a youth. My God, all my life, from a child until a youth, before I was baptized, and all I knew was Jesus saved. It is not enough for you to know that Jesus came, my God, he was born. He was born of a virgin, my God, in a manger. And for you to know that he came and he died on the cross and he rose again. My God, sad to know that a lot of people that are in churches tonight, that is all they know. Come on. My God, God is saying tonight that it's not enough tonight. Amen. For he has given us the foundational plan and the structure of 
his word tonight to comprehend his divine purpose for us as his children upon the earth. Amen. These seasons tonight, it was instituted by God, my God, for main reasons tonight. Number one, my God, it was instituted for us to know and to be aware of God's prophetic timeline concerning the ages. Amen. We understand when we study the word of God, my God, we will realize that we did the story, my God, and the testimony of Jesus' birth, my God, and his death, his burial, and resurrection, it is not all. My God, you realize that the redemption plan of man, my God, it has stretched far and wide tonight. It is much bigger than you think tonight. Amen. You will realize, my God, that the Bible teaches us, my God, of ages past, my God, and it teaches us, my God, where it began and where all things will culminate tonight. Amen. For man, the second reason, it is for man to rehearse and to be prepared for the bridegroom's return tonight, for he ought not to be caught off guard. If you are in the church tonight, my God, and you have never heard before that Jesus is coming back again, I'm here to announce to you tonight that he's about to return tonight. Amen. Amen. Come on. If you are in church for many years, my God, and you may have been hearing before that Jesus Christ is coming back and you are saying it is all wise fables tonight, I'm here to announce to you tonight that it is going to happen. It is time for you to awaken out of slumber tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you hearing me? So my God, he's not only returning to take the church home, but he's coming back to judge the saints tonight upon that which he has entrusted them with tonight as stewards upon the earth. Amen. A steward is a manager and not a owner tonight. Are you hearing me? A steward is a manager and he is not an owner tonight. And they must give an account tonight of that which was given to them to manage tonight by the owner. In this case, the owner is Christ Jesus, my God, the Messiah, and we are the stewards. Praise the name of the Lord. So the book of Matthew records the account that Jesus gave concerning the parable of the talents tonight. And permit me to read the word of God. And Jesus is speaking here. Matthew chapter 25. And we are reading from verses 14 straight unto 30. All found say amen. amen. For the kingdom of heaven is as what? Are you following tonight? We are in deeper life service. I need you to respond tonight. Amen. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them what? His goods. Praise the name of the Lord. And unto one he gave how many? Five talents. To another he gave two. To another he gave one. To every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey tonight. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them what? Other five talents. And likewise he that had received two. He also gained other two, but he that had received one went and did what? And dig in the earth and did what? And hid his Lord's money. And after a long time, the Lord of the servants cometh, and he recorded with them. He come to settle accounts now. And so he that received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee what? Ruler. Ruler over many things. Enter thou into the 
joy of the Lord. He also that had received the two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, What? Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou, thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Then he which had received the one talent, he came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a what? Oh, what a thing. Thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strewn. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said what unto him? Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and God away I have not strewed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received my own with usury tonight. Take therefore the what? The talent from him, and give it unto him which had ten talents. For unto everyone that had shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that had not shall be taken away, even that which he had. And cast ye the what? The unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Believers, tonight, I want to speak to you tonight, praise the name of the Lord, concerning the topic, faithful service during the bridegroom's Jesus presence absence. Amen. Faithful service tonight, praise the name of the Lord. So my God, permit me to lay the foundation tonight. What we must rehearse consistently in our minds tonight, and what we must keep in our spirit tonight is that we have entered into a covenant relationship with God. Amen. Our salvation co comes at a cost and a very high cost also. You were purchased, my God, with the blood of Jesus Christ tonight. It was the highest cost known throughout the universe. Amen. And from the day we have accepted Christ, as our indwelling Savior tonight, we have come into a covenant relationship with Him. And to every covenant relationship tonight, there are terms and there are conditions tonight for both parties involved. Amen. They must adhere, my God, to the terms and conditions tonight. And the Bible states that our God is a God of covenant tonight. It means that he don't go back on promises tonight. He don't break covenant. Amen. The book of Psalms chapter 89 and verses 34, it states, My covenant I will not alter. He says, I will not violate, nor will I alter the utterance of my lips tonight. You see, God is not slack concerning anything, any of his promises tonight. Amen. He says, heaven and earth, it will pass away, but not one shot, nor tittle of my words will pass away tonight. For he says what he means, and he means what he says tonight. Amen. And this applies for every promise in the book. Whether it be promise of blessings, or whether it be promise of judgment, God shall perform the declaration of his utterance tonight, whether you choose to believe it or not. Are you hearing me? It doesn't matter. If you believe what he says in his Bible, he's going to perform it anyway. The people in Noah's days, my God, they had a choice to believe that it was going to rain, to believe, my God, the earth was going to be destroyed with water. They had a choice, but did it stop God tonight from doing what he was about to do? Because he's a God of covenant. He says 
what he means and means what he says tonight. And if God has promised us he's going to prepare a place for us and he's coming back again to receive us tonight, you better believe it's going to happen. Are you hearing me? You better believe that it's going to happen tonight. The person stands here, he's coming back to settle accounts with his stewards tonight. He is looking for interest upon his return tonight. You see, the Ecclesia, which is the church of God tonight, they need to understand that we were not adopted as sons of God or brought into the beloved tonight to warm benches and to make up numbers tonight. The Bible says that, my God, the disciples, there were 12 in number tonight. But my God, they turned the world upside down for Jesus Christ. You see, it is not in numbers tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, that change, an effectual change can take place tonight. But what brings about change, my God, is the reformation and the transformation of the minds of the people. You can have two people in this place tonight. And once they are fixed and focused on the purpose of God tonight, they can move mountains. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. So my God, he's coming back to settle accounts tonight with his stewards. And he is looking for interest upon his return tonight. Amen. So my God, he did not bring us, my God, into the beloved. My God, and you would see this in the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verses 5 to 7. He did not bring us into the beloved tonight to warm benches and to make up numbers. We were grafted into the brotherhood tonight to be part of the body of Christ, number one, and to be part of the greatest movement ever known throughout history of mankind tonight and that is the move the movement of eternal salvation for men redemption and inheritance tonight are you hearing me you are called to be part of the greatest movement ever in history tonight we are history makers tonight we are connected with the ancient of days tonight before time existed, he existed tonight. He is not contained with time tonight. Think about this. Praise the name of the Lord. We were grafted into the brotherhood. My God, to be part of this movement tonight. Aren't you excited? Hallelujah. So my God, as sons of God, who represents the kingdom of the most high God, our mission is to evangelize the coming kingdom of Christ tonight. What are we doing? Praise the name of the Lord. It is to announce to the world system and the gods of this world system that their days are numbered and is soon coming to a close. For the true king of kings is about to return and he shall take back what rightfully belongs to the kingdom of God. Amen. Get ready church tonight for the coronation of the king, my God, is soon to happen. Praise the name of the Lord. It draws closer. Every second that goes by, every day that passes, my God, the day for his return, it is closer than ever before. Let these realities sink into your mind. Let it stay in your spirit tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. That any given second, my God, he will burst the clouds. My God, and he shall take his children home. Amen. Come on, give him some praise. Hallelujah. So the Bible states that he led captivity captive and he gave gifts. He gave presents unto men. You would see this in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verses 8. You see, he did not just, my God, died on the cross. He did not just shed his blood. He did not just go down into Hades and preach to the disobedient spirits. My God, but the Bible said that he took the believers, my God, from the heart of Hades. My God, and he led them captive straight into the presence of God. But understand the saints. He did not leave the sons of God unarmed. But he said, my God, I led captivity captive and made an open sure of principalities and powers. My God, and I have released 
God. He has invested in you tonight. He has made an investment like no other tonight. He says, I view you tonight to be precious to me. You are valuable to me. And because you are valuable to me, I view you as a thing of worth. any 
area. We should not have need or want for anything because we serve a big God and there is no lack, there is no want in him tonight. He says all we need to do is ask. My God and he's willing to give. He says all you need to do is knock. My God and the door shall be open unto us. He says if you are searching tonight, seek and you will find. My God, he says those that have come into knowledge tonight of me. My God, they shall come in and out. My God and find green pastures to graze upon. They shall be like trees that are planted by the rivers of living water. That shall bring forth fruit in their season tonight. tonight. How do you view yourself tonight? My God, you better give him some praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. So my God, as a vital member of the body of Christ, my God, we have to understand that every member of the body of Christ, it is necessary. Every member and the the body of Christ, my God, they give you a parallel picture of it. They said it's like a body of a man. My God, where every member of your body is necessary. You may feel that like your pinky finger is unnecessary, but lose it and you would see how necessary the pinky finger is. Even the little toe, praise the name of the Lord. Every member of the body, it is vital tonight. Amen. And if the member is maimed, if there's any member that is maimed or disabled in the body tonight, then the body, my God, it is lacking and not functioning to the best of its ability tonight. Oh and you've got to understand this, my God, because I said all of this to let you know that every hand needs to be on deck. Every hand needs to be on deck in order to execute the purpose of the kingdom of God upon the earth. There is no such thing as an insignificant member. Are you hearing me? Every one of you, from the eldest, my God, unto the youngest tonight, my God is needful in the body of Christ. You are important in the eyes of God. He needs you tonight because he has made an investment in you tonight. Come on, you better give him some praise. My God. So my God, look with me in Matthew chapter 25 and verses 16. Then he said, and then he that had received the what? The five talents went and traded with the same and made them what? Other five talents tonight. So Jesus went on to say tonight that he that received the five talents, he went and he traded with the same and he brought five other talents with them. The word traded in the Greek, it means to toil. Are you hearing me? The word trade in the Greek, it means to toil as a task or occupation tonight. It means, my God, to commit, to do labor for. It means to minister about. And that minister about, don't speak only about evangelizing by word. It means to attend to the needs of others. Praise the name of the Lord. It means to trade by work. Your talent becomes your occupation in the kingdom. Oh my God. Amen. Don't miss this. Amen. Your talent becomes your occupation in the kingdom tonight. Oh How do you view your occupation in the secular world? In the natural world, do you play with your job? Like we're not working in here. Do we have people that are employed in here? Do you play with your job? 
No. Do you perform to the best of your ability? Why? Because you want to keep your job. Bishop, we'll talk about that. Because, you see, above all rest believers, everything that you would do here upon the earth, Jesus said it will perish. Only what you do for God will last. Only what you sow into the kingdom of God through labor, through whatsoever means, my God, it is like heaping treasures up in the heavens for you. Praise the name of the Lord. For me, it is downloading into your heavenly account. Nothing that you will ever do here in the earthly realm concerning your fleshly or carnal nature, my God, will continue to exist. It will be burnt up. Are you hearing me? Getting the picture now? Are you getting the picture now? So if we don't play, my God, in the natural realm concerning our, our occupation, my God, to man, why are we playing with God? Something to think about, right? Something to think about? Time will not permit me tonight. So my God, that which has been entrusted to you, you are expected to work it. You are expected to labor in it. You are expected to commit yourself to do it. Do you understand what commitment means? Commitment don't mean you're present today and you're missing for a month. Commitment don't mean that you're here for two Sundays, my God, and you're missing for the rest of Sundays. Commitment means to be consistent, persevering towards the task. You are hitting the goal every time you pass. Commitment. Whether the rains, the, the rain fall, rain don't fall, whether it's raining, whether the sun shining, whether there is storms, my God, you are committed. Are you hearing me? Get in the picture? Come on, give me some praise. So when it be, we need for life service, right? I hit them for six tonight. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. Because you see, I alone don't want to go to heaven, my God, and get rewards. Oh I want to cheer you on too. Amen. Because you see, when I cheer you on, praise the name of the Lord, you're going to benefit. You're going to profit tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. This is an investment that you can't afford, not my God, to trade in tonight. My God, the riches that are, um, that are locked up in you, my God, you don't even know it tonight. God want to unleash some things in you. Praise the name of the Lord, but commitment. Commitment to the task, amen. So whether it be 10 or 5 or 2 or 1 talent entrusted to you, begin to invest. Because you are expected to work it and bring in interest tonight. Whatever your field is, whether it be music, whether it be administrating, whether it be evangelizing, whether it be helps and hospitalities, there are so much more that I can talk about. My God, you have to be engaged in or with it. You have to be engaged in or with it tonight. For only when you commit yourself tonight to your talent that was given, only when you have traded it or begin to work it, God is going to increase you. Are you getting it? Are you getting it tonight? Verse 16, look at me in verse 16. Then he that received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them what? Other five talents. 
only when you step out and begin to invest, trade with that which you have, my God, he's going to increase you tonight to gain other talents that is distinct from what you already have. I can use myself, and I'm going to use this, we're going to continue this message, and I'm going to use myself, my God, as an example, and I'm going to stop here tonight. My God, I'm going to use myself as an example. I started off in the ministry of help. Come on. There is no office in the church that you can tell me about that I have not worked. Come on. I started my God cleaning the church. Very faithfully cleaning the church. At that time, we had iron chairs. Could you remember the iron chairs that, uh, that people used to use in the Hindu prayers and whatsoever? They had parties, the iron chairs. That, that is what we had. We had the wooden chairs that used to open out. I don't know if you all know that type of chairs. Yeah, we and my God, the building was not like this. It was a board building. Right? And the, the roof was right there. My God, and the windows, you had to push it up with a stick. Come on. It had no air condition, but mind you, it was full with the Holy Ghost inside this place. Amen. My God, I can remember fundraising ventures, operating in the ministry, functioning in the ministry of health. I can remember how that time I said, Lord, have mercy. I got stuck with a bag of chicken to clean for barbecue for fun reason. Could you imagine, could you just imagine my feelings getting stuck with a crocus bag of chicken to clean? Come on, but I was faithful and committed to the task. My God, and as I begin to invest, God began to elevate. Come on. He began to add. I started ushering. This is what I tell people. You can't tell me because I function in every department. And I served faithfully. Ushering my God, you ensure that it had water. We didn't have toilets at that time, but you would make sure that the place is proper.